Agora é igual você falou, agora é ir lá e, e, e controlar aquilo que é do nosso controle, porque o resto é, é na mão de Deus. Caiu a luta. Mentira. Sério, o Ian. É, parece que o Ian tá doente. Guacamole, olha que beleza. Foi guacamole com ovos e café. Ele acordou com quantos quilos hoje? 81,600. Está exatamente 6% acima do peso da categoria. O que é muito bom, ainda mais porque ele está bebendo muita água. Ou seja, o corte de peso vai ser dentro de uma margem extremamente segura, extremamente recomendada e, me <coughs> melhor ainda, tranquila. Buenos dias, muchachos. Bom dia. Valeu, cafezinho. Buenos dias, Carol. Valeu. So, guys, second day, five week, waking up, breakfast and coffee. Let's go. So, today's schedule is right here. At 11, we got some interviews with Brazilian media. And then we have a full day at the Apex. We're gonna have the media day, so that's in-person media. Then we got uh, photo shoot interviews, uh, see the broadcast crew, you know, have a talk with them. So I'm gonna be all afternoon at the Apex doing a lot of stuff with, with the UFC. And then tonight we get our workout, probably 8.30 p.m. Uh, we're gonna work with Chopcott, Henry, and all the guys there at the a at the UFC PI, and yeah, that's gonna be the day two here in Vegas, and yeah, it's gonna be hard work and obviously fun. Kyle, a gente apresenta as coisas. Igual me foi apresentado a luta muito antes de saber que ia ser o que querer. E Deus não colocou automobilismo na minha vida à toa. Eu vi um monte de gente do automobilismo que vem me aparece. Ela não contar ele. Que contar ele? Era onde que tinha. Era onde que tinha. Não vai ter mais? Não vai ter mais? Dois vai chegar, mas agora não tem. Três, quatro, cinco, seis. Já bebeu quanto hoje? Eu já bebi só Ai, já chegou. Ele, eu acho que a gente vai descer tudo pra tomar café da manhã, daqui a uns 15 minutos. Mas eu acho que ele ainda está cansado. Eu vou entrar pra cá. Então, Dieter, você está acordado? Sim, senhor. Não, não, não. Ok, ok. Tudo bem, bro? Sim, sim. E você, como foi o flight? Tudo bem. Tudo bem, bro. Straight. No problems. You almost ended up in Mexico City. Almost ended up in Mexico City. Yeah. So you I got in the wrong plane. When I got into San Francisco, like the the scanning thing went down. So you go in like this. There's 12 is here, 11 is here. I kept going into 12, and I walked into the plane. The lady's like, "Hey, are you going to Mexico or to Vegas?" I'm like, "Vegas." She's like, "You're in the wrong plane." <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, he's asking if you speak Spanish. Sí, sí, hablo español. Yo creo que la última vez hablamos There is, they have like a, that thing that PBIR, the professional bull riding. Oh yeah, I think yes, it's going on here. here. I was like, why yeah. is riding a cowboy hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impa should be here. Impa, he's yes. coming yes. here today. He fights the bulls there. Yeah. <laughs> 
I have a good feeling you're gonna win this week. Thank you. We ready? I'll be ready for you. I'll be at the fight space. Just for me, I have to lose my spot. How many pounds? About ten. That's no, not too bad. No. Easy. I'm keeping myself lighter than that, like for the last couple of fights, just because you know, I'm not yeah, you don't all worried it. about that. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Nice. You're like Marcus Bouchesh. Bro, you look exactly <laughs> like Marcus Bouchesh. Uh, Jiu Jitsu. Really, really good. <laughs> 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 you make it fun of me. What you carrying? Donuts. Milano's donuts. Right. I'm gonna eat them during the night. <laughs> Lucas is not gonna know. <laughs> and then he's gonna be, why did this guy didn't make weight? No, I'm just kidding. Están ahí en en contra a Ian, pero también yo pienso que yo nunca lo nunca le llevé las peleas a lo personal. Entonces para mí eh, yo no me siento en una posición que yo puedo juzgar a a la vida de cualquiera. Entonces yo creo que como peleador Yo lo veo como un gran talento. Sí, yo creo que sí. Yo creo que es algo de, difícil de, de estar enfocado totalmente en un momento como ese. Entonces, pero él también habló cosas y, y las cosas siempre se van. Es complicado cuando hablan. A veces la otra persona o nosotros no tenemos control de lo que los otros van a hablar y ahí se se pierden las É, pois é, então, o, o esporte sempre foi, fez parte da minha vida, tanto minha mãe como meu pai sempre praticaram muito esporte a nível de competição mesmo, então minha mãe, ela é faixa preta de karatê, competiu bastante, meu pai jogou rugby, é, né, grande parte da vida dele, dos 15 aos 43 anos, então ele sempre competindo muito também, então já fazia parte, né, o esporte da minha vida, é, Eu fico com o lugar que eu vou lutar com o frio. Por quê? Não sei. Eu gosto. Eu gosto de frio. Mas sempre quando você voltar vai estar frio porque vai estar condicionado. Não, frio de verdade. Eu digo lá fora. Tipo. Tipo frio. Sim. Inverno. Inverno. Todos. Sim. So now we're gonna go to Whole Foods, uh, have our, get all the meals that I'm gonna have for my recovery on Friday. So that's something I like to do during the week and I'm actually always excited to do it because I get to, you know, see everything I'm gonna be eating in recovery. And then I have Lucas, my nutritionist with me. He's gonna help me out, pick everything that is healthy and that is ideal to get that perfect recovery and perform the best way possible. O foco da compra é comprar as coisas que a gente vai utilizar na recuperação de peso. Ou seja, como a gente não tem um, um, uma geladeira grande, a gente não vai comprar hoje as coisas que precisa refrigerar. Não é só o que é de prateleira. Então o foco principal é comprar o máximo possível de alimentos de qualidade, nutritivos, só que riquíssimos em carboidrato. Porque ele está restrito em carboidrato essa semana inteira, depois da pesagem, focar muita quantidade de carro. Fala Vitor, tudo bom? Tô bem, tô bem. Tô aqui no Holy Foods agora pegando as comidas pro recovery depois. É, tô, mas, mas tô comendo bem ainda, tô, tô sofrendo muito não. Graças a Deus a dieta tá boa. Tô leve também, tô 180 libras hoje, então só falta 9 libras pra ter. É, amanhã de noite.
Eu faço, eu faço aquela sauna portátil e aí eu faço um pouco aquilo e geralmente eu faço a banheira no final ou se tiver um pouco de manhã para perder. Então, muito, muito obrigado, agradeço mesmo, é, é bom demais ter essa força aí. Eu já te falei, né, muitas vezes você para mim é um exemplo e agora ainda é um exemplo que eu gosto, né, ter essa relação mais próxima e tô pronto, tô, me sinto muito, muito abençoado de estar aqui, tudo tá, tudo tá indo muito bem, o time tá bem aqui me apoiando, então agora é igual você falou, agora é ir lá e, e, e controlar aquilo que é do nosso controle, que o resto é, é na mão de Deus. So just got a call from a guy that has always been one of my idols and now you know he is more than that I can say he's a friend uh, Vitor Belfort and he was talking about you know uh, the fight and everything he was talking about the fight how you know he's a very experienced guy he's a guy that has lived through a lot of this and can share with me maybe some of the emotions that I'm going to go through and just having you know him speak and, and kind of like give me his words is very important and also he's a man of God you know he's a, a very very faithful Christian and it's this is a you know the beginning of my journey in my faith and having brothers like him that can really you know uh, strengthen me is very important So just got back from Whole Foods, bought my recovery uh, meals, and now I'm gonna head to the UFC Apex, have a whole media day going on, and you know, everything is going really good, ways on point right now, probably at 180, around that, so not much to go, and yeah, we're ready to go. What's up, guys? Hey, Vicente, how's it going, man? Good. Good. How's your week going so far? So it's been good, man. You know, uh, excited. You know, big show. Great week. Camp has been good, so I'm I'm definitely excited. Whatever and. What I do is like, I'm not gonna take it personally. I'm just, I'm here for business. I'm here to compete. And still, you know, I, I think that after, we'll see what whatever happens after the fight, you know, I think he's a, 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 a nice guy. If he's ever gonna train with us again or not, I don't know. Is that something that lingers over you um, in terms of preparation, sparring, etc. when you're getting ready for fights now? Force myself into doing something that I'm not in order to get people's attention and what I am is a fighter what I can do like as as good as anybody or better than anyone else is fight with all my heart and that's where I talk that's where where I let my you know my light shine and and that's gonna be it you know and if tomorrow I'm lost in the in the press conference I have no problem with that Saturday night that's that's where everybody's gonna see what I'm gonna do All right, when you answer, you can just look over at me. Okay. All right, well, welcome back to Fight Week. We're here in Las Vegas. Just how are you feeling a few days out from the fight? So I feel great. Uh, you know, it has been a great training camp. Weight cut is going well also. So yeah, uh, overall, feeling amazing. When you look at the time you had to spend away from the octagon, I believe that uh, the whole process, you know, getting... Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. For that same show. Okay. Questions on, like, different knockouts and stuff like that. 
uh, your experience with knockout. So winning a fight via knockout is one of the you know most special moments, a lot of adrenaline, and I don't know, it's one of the ultimate ways to win a fight, you know, because it's total, total domination. It's, the guy can't do anything about it. You knock him out, and you're the winner. He's pressuring forward. Ooh, big pull two. To the knee. Everybody is, is watching that fight and you never know when it's going to happen. So you're, you're kind of anticipating, you're anxious to see what's going to happen and then suddenly out of nowhere a big punch or a big kick gets that knockout and, and everybody goes crazy. So that's, that's what I think makes it exciting. So today is the last day of drinking a lot of water. So we do like, I don't know how to call it hyperhydration and that just helps me later tomorrow when I do my dehydration my body's gonna be full of water so it's gonna sweat easy it's not gonna try to you know hold all that water and prevent me from losing weight so today I'm still gonna drink a lot of water about eight liters I don't know that what that would be in gallons but probably like almost three gallons I think your full avatar. Um, so with this one, I'm just going to get you to stand behind it, hands on the chair like this. Find yourself in these two sort of views here, so very much like this. And then you're going to find, lean over, and then just sort of find your face in this top one here. And once you do, I'd like it if you just tilted your head down. So the top of your head is pointing towards this front camera. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, just lean forward a touch, please. Yeah, right there, move back a little bit. Right there, excellent. Lean slightly to your left. Yeah, right there. And then just a little bit higher with the body. Yeah, and then uh, uh, lean forward to touch. Right there, and hold that pose, please. And fire. Okay, and you can relax. And we'll just wait for the images to down as they take a couple seconds. That's good. Okay, and I'll just get you to stand over here for me, please. Get you to have a seat, please. So now we're going to capture the back of your head. Okay. So I'm just going to wheel you in. All right, we are ready to go. Looking at that front camera right there. Nice big smile. There we go. And holding that and fire. Great job. <laughs> him in the past so I know that uh, I have the skills to beat him. Okay. Excellent. Take a look at me. We're good? Uh, yeah. good. We'll see, eh? We'll see. Okay. I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready. ready. You make ready. sure you're ready, bro. <laughs> you know again? Yes, all good. Okay. All good. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Perfect. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Escreve no G-Fight aí que a gente vai vendo por esse vídeo. Aí, ó. Pronto. É. 3, 2, 1. Fala, galera do G-Fight. Diego Ribas, direto de Las Vegas. Com o Vicente Lupe. Tudo bom, mano? Tranquilo, tudo certo. Animado. Fim de semana vai ser bom. E acaba agregando a luta, né? Todo mundo tá de olho nessa luta. Oi, pessoal. Jéssica Portazio aqui em Las Vegas pro UFC 296, ao lado de Vicente Lupe. E, pô, tô bem demais. Tô animado. Vai ser um lutão. E eu já o um cara alto, o um cara baixo. Um cara por ele apoio. Vamos com todo. Latinoamérica. Vicente Lupe, este sábado, em contra de Ian Gary, no UFC 296. So the media day uh, is a super important day. I think it's really kind of like not only getting to talk about the fight, but also getting in that fight mode. Uh, you know, I think about the fight while I'm talking about it. I think about my opponent and that all kind of brings me, you know, that that reflection, that kind of start feeling that, that, that adrenaline. And I love it, you know, I love this. It's just really 
enjoying the process and that's that's what I've always loved you know that this is why this sport is so amazing uh, because it's it's much more than just one night of competition what goes in through our minds and through the whole week and all the energy this is this really this is what excites me this is what gives me like this this whole build up to the fight and yeah it starts right here with the media day you know we had a great day I got here it was day now it's already night so we spent you know a, a few hours there and talking to different kind of medias Spanish Portuguese uh, and English right talking to all the all the different uh, fans and yeah it's good and also a way to give back to the fans you know and to the and to all the reporters that support our sport that you know share our sport around the world is a way to to just give back in a way and and to be sure that we're all we're all here in the same uh, journey I don't know exactly why apparently Ian is sick I think it might be pneumonia so in that case you know I mean he can't fight so I wish him all the best I wish him he recovers and we'll see we'll see what we're gonna do I don't think I can get an opponent this quick uh, I don't know if we can reschedule our fight or not so so yeah a lot of things to think about to talk with the team and let's let's see hey what did you buy bro we have a sacred news <laughs> unfortunate news mentira <laughs> Sério? <risos> Mentira. Sério. Mas ninguém sabe da gente. Tá na minha ainda. Que ele vai tirar? Você jura? Juro? Ah. Por que isso? Acho que eles disseram que ele tá com pneu bonito. É. Mas se tiver, eu espero que também não. É, claro. Agora pensar o que aqui. Oferecer alguém? Não. Eu sei. Eu tô querendo até até o peso. Só pra bater o peso. Uai, bate, ué. Hã? Bate. Você Mas não vai ter luta. Hã? Mas não vai ter luta e não vai ter nada se eu bater o peso. Mesmo assim. E o Belal tá de reserva pra, pro cinturão. I'm gonna put the lamb in the fight. Me. <laughs> you get UFC contract. Yeah. You psycho already. Psycho. Yeah, psycho's already in the UFC. <laughs> but he needs. He can make right. He made, you never fight it to a fight. Wait. Yeah, another no chance to another. Um, any chance to another fighter? No. See you guys. Hey man. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Y lo que te da falta para la próxima mañana se va a Sí, por supuesto. Gracias, hermano. Ya es. Está bueno. Estoy aquí no en Money Bird, aquí en Chicago. Llego ahí de mañana a la noche. Pues cayó, ve. ¿Qué hora? Cayó la luta. Mentira. Sério, o Ian. Parece que o Ian está doente. Parece que o Ian está, sei lá, con pneumonia. No sé. Mas saiu de la luta. Sério, mano. Mentira. Sério, mano. Mentira. 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 Mas não vai arrumar outro não, né? Caiu, caiu. Caiu, caiu. Aí estão querendo. Tipo, mas aí já estavam. Tipo, o Alho tava querendo fazer ou janeiro ou fevereiro. Mas eu falei, pô, não dá. Pra mim não dá pra fazer agora. E eu tô quase assim, pô, não quero nem. Não... Pô. <risos> tá pronto, meu irmão. Tô aqui, velho. Pronto a bater o peso. Ah, it's not what? Right. But it is what it is. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Look at Mark God, bro. Crazy, bro. Yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't even know about that until Travel of the Wood. It's crazy, right? So you Mark God, you look crazy. I know. When we're hungry, everything is good. But this is pretty good. Uh, tuna, some, I don't know, some herbs, olive oil and sourdough bread very good so we're you know we were getting ready for this fight 
I mean, such an amazing training camp, a great, you know, week that was going perfect. And then, unfortunately, uh, everything fell through. I wasn't going to get the fight. And obviously, you know, it was was something even that got, you know, a lot of concerns. And then finally, like, now I wake up this morning with the possibility of, of possibly, you know, actually fighting i think I, I might be fighting kevin holland so we're here and we're we're excited at 180 so that's gonna be good too uh you know i don't have to go crazy with the weight cut so yeah i'm excited i'm excited let's go yes happy father we thank you for always providing for us and always guiding us always being with us as we walk through the valley of death you're always there with us yes. as we walk to the cage you're there with us yes. lord yes please be with Vicente this week and whatever is in your plan for us please let us accept your plan and let Amen. us go out there and fight to the best of our abilities and lord please just guide Vicente and and, and i know you, you you're with him you're always with him and his family lord please, please bless him and he's our brother we thank you for him being with us and, and, and being a great brother to us be, be with him and bless him this we pray this day in the name amen amen thank you brother thank you on thank you come on all right brother you have to do it man and whatever it is we're, we're with you brother let's go most importantly god's with you brother yes yes, yes. let's do it Tá quase certo, ainda não tá <coughs> contrato nem nada, mas eu já aceitei, o Kevin acho que já aceitou também, o Ali tá falando lá com os caras, então acho que vai, acho que vai rolar. Sim. Deus tá, Deus, Deus tá, Deus tem que passar pelas mesmas coisas pra provar pra gente que ele tá com a gente, mano. Amém. Entendeu? Assim como caiu tá muito uma vez que teve que aceitar aquele dia que eu vi e pô, ah, vou ter que lutar com quem tiver. Não, meu irmão, agora você vai lutar porque o senhor tá contigo, mano. Ele te levou até aí, entendeu? Você tá pronto, você é um guerreiro e vamos pra cima, meu irmão. Entendeu? É isso, é isso. Você tá treinado, você tá treinado, seja pra ir, seja pra quem for, você tá treinado, cara. Valeu. Agora é só manter a firma, meu irmão, coração, com coração firme, por feliz de estar tá aí, fazendo o teu trabalho, alegre, que Deus te deu essa oportunidade, tá sem lesão, sem nada. E se tiver que ir embora, meu irmão. Você tá aí pra isso, pô, você tá aí pra lutar, mano. Não é interessa isso. quem for. Eu sempre penso assim, meu irmão, meu, meu adversário não tem rosto. Entendeu? Uhum. Nossa, Boa. É isso, é isso, estamos prontos. Vamos com tempo. tudo. Caraca. Vai ser bom, vai ser bom, vamos pra guerra. Não, já, já foi, já, já tá sendo bom mesmo. Já tá sendo a bom. Guerra, pra guerra. Concentrado, focado, você tá pronto. Ele, ele não tá pronto, você tá. Boa. Já passou por essa vibe. Sim. Tá bom? Vai, vai mantendo informado aí. Vou sim, vou sim. Valeu, ah. tamo junto. Abração. Bora. Hey, we always, we were born ready for war. This is what we, you know, this is the purpose God has for me, you know, uh, through fighting. I don't know. It's crazy. It's been in me since I was born. My mom is a black belt in karate. I stepped in that in those mats and, and learned how to fight when I was still a toddler. So it's crazy, you know, this 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 is something really that has been put in my life for a purpose and and the more I live the more blessed I am and and you know the more I, I see how much God does in my life. And the more I want to share, you know, what he does. And, and I understand, yeah, this is my purpose exactly to share uh, his word and, and, and to show, you know, how great he is, how he can, you know, take us from, 
from situations that sometimes we we think that you know maybe nothing good can come out of it and then he he surprises us and and it's great and it's great so yeah i'm excited i'm ready i'm ready to go man let's go it's gonna be fun unfortunately we're not gonna fight you know i tried to make it happen i was ready i was ready for the original fight that didn't happen i was ready to fight kevin holland and 180 even i mean if we had to go 170 you know i could do it as well but it's not gonna happen and you know it is what it is we move on from here now i'm gonna get to go back you know enjoy my family uh my part of my family is going up to florida to spend you know holidays over there so that's gonna be the focus right now. Enjoy the holidays with my family, rest. And next year we start building up again and we get ready for what's next because I'm sure 2024, man, we're gonna, we're gonna get that title. We're gonna chase that title and we're gonna get it. So let's go have fun.